Hello and welcome to this slightly different session about the Sound Devices Noise Assist plugin. Today I'll be looking at whether or not uh, simply engaging the plugin in the circuit changes the character and tone of your microphone. Now, I think it does, but you'll have to listen to find out. Now, in order to hear this properly, you'll need to wear a decent set of headphones. Uh, if you listen on monitor speakers, there really won't be much difference and you won't be able to hear the nuance. But people listening to your YouTube recording or to your live uh, podcast on headphones will, I think, be able to notice a difference as soon as you switch the noise assist plug-in into the circuit, even if you're not applying any uh, noise reduction, although of course you will be applying noise reduction on a live broadcast or recording. So let's first of all just go into the noise assist uh, screens. So you see here that I've not got noise assist engaged and if we go into the channel setup you see that the channel is on normal phase. So we're listening here to this uh, Bear Dynamic M201TG dynamic microphone without any processing other than a minor uh, bass cut of 40 hertz. So here in the screen we're on normal phase. If I go into Noise Assist I'll now apply that to this channel, to channel 1, and uh, We'll now go and switch in Noise Assist and see if you can hear a difference. So as I switch in Noise Assist now, I can hear a difference on my headphones. The sound has gone a little bit strange, a little bit thinner, and uh, we don't have that fullness that we have with the original microphone sound. Let me switch that out again and you can hear that again. So this is the microphone without the Noise Assist plug-in engaged. And this is the microphone with the Noise Assist plugin engaged. Now, if I now go into the channel strip and we go into phase, at present it's on normal phase, but if I change that to inverted phase, you'll now hear that the microphone has changed its tone again and it is much more similar to the original sound of the microphone before we engage Noise Assist. Now, as you see, Noise Assist there is set at 0 dB, so there's no sound attenuation of the noise at all at the moment. You're just hearing the effect of the Noise Assist plug-in. Now, not all microphones output a positive phase signal like this Bear Dynamic uh, M201TG. Many lapel microphones, like this uh, old Sennheiser ME2, which are wired through a 3.5mm jack, will actually output in negative phase. So if we connect those through the uh, Sound Devices Noise Assist plug-in, that will flip the phase and the microphone can sound much better. So let's have a look at that now. So this is the sound of the Sennheiser lapel microphone through channel 3, which is in its normal phase, which is actually outputting negative phase, uh, because that's what this microphone does. If we go into the uh, Noise Assist screen, you'll see that I've applied Noise Assist to channel 3, but it's not yet switched on. So if I now switch Noise Assist on, then it sounds deeper, more rounded, and uh, overall it's a better sound, I think. So. When we uh, plug this microphone through the Mix Pre and the Noise Assist plugin, then we don't have to do anything to the phase because the plugin itself will change the phase. So, how do we know whether our microphone is outputting a positive or a negative phase signal? Well, if you have a mixer which has a phase invert switch, like the Mix Pre series, you can check that quite easily. If you invert the signal and it sounds deeper and more rounded, then you have a negative phase microphone. Now you can also check the phase by using bass cut whilst monitoring live through your headphones. Let's just look at the screen for channel 3 where I have my COS 11X and if you see there, we're on normal phase, so this COS 11X I know actually is outputting a negative phase, but we'll just check that by going into the 
first screen and you see we've got no low cut there. Now if we add low cut, if I push the low cut switch right to full cut, then the sound I hear of my own voice speaking live is actually deeper when I've got cut on. It's got more bass rather than less. And when I take the cut off, uh, it's a lighter sound, which is a bit confusing. So when I turn up the bass cut, you'll hear in your own headphones, your own voice speaking live goes deeper instead of lighter. It doesn't cut the bass, it increases it. So that's an easy way to check, although you have to be speaking live yourself because it's partly your positive uh, phase sound in your head that is helping to cancel this out. But if it's a, a negative phase microphone, the low cut filter in a mixer works in the opposite direction. It makes it deeper rather than lighter. So what have I learned from these uh, experiments and little tests that I've carried out with the sound devices Noise Assist plugin and the Mix Pre? Well, first of all, it seems to me fairly obvious that the sound devices Noise Assist plugin is actually flipping the phase of the signal. Sounds much harsher, sounds truncated, less open. So you can counter that by actually flipping the phase in the channel strip of the sound devices mix pre so that the actual output at the end of the day is positive and you'll get something fairly close to the real sound of your microphone. I'm not totally convinced that the noise assist plugin flips the signal through a full 180 degrees. Uh, it does sometimes sound a little bit different to the original, but that's perhaps something sound devices can have a look at. If you have a negative phase microphone, then putting it through noise assist is going to make it sound better, in my view, without you having to do any other uh, phase changes. Now, an ordinary waveform is fairly symmetrical about the centre line. But as soon as we switch in noise assist, then that waveform becomes asymmetrical with much more of the wave peaks above the centre line. Now we can correct that to a degree by just flipping the phase 180 degrees by using the invert switch on the mix pre. And that just turns the signal over by 180 degrees so that all the peaks appear below the line. Now that actually does have uh, the effect we want in that it changes the sound to a much more rounded sound when I'm listening through headphones. But if we want to find out exactly how to get this waveform more or less centred along the line, like the proper waveform, then we have to use a programme like uh, Isotope RX to uh, actually bring up the calculation. So with this uh, little calculator, if I click, uh, if I highlight the wave that we want to analyse, let's say that piece, and I click suggest, it will put a figure in down here which will be the correction figure for the phase rotation. So it there says we need to do a correction by 78 degrees in order to get the waveform more central. So if you look at the waveform which has not yet changed, uh, I'll now apply the process and it will then bring this waveform more centrally across the line. So now you see we've processed it and the waveform has uh, become fairly uniform at either side of the line uh, when we play it back. Well, I hope that you've found this little investigation useful. Let us know in the comments below whether you've had any experience with the difference in the character of the sound when using a positive or negative phase output microphone or system, or indeed whether you've had any experience with noise assist changing the timbre and character of your microphone when you've applied the noise reduction plugin. So put your comments below and uh, we'll see you again next time. Goodbye. This is the Bear Dynamic M201TG 
with no noise assist switched on and this is just in normal phase. I've now added noise assist, one, two, three, four, five, and it's in normal phase. I've now taken it off and it's in normal phase. So this is how the microphone actually sounds. This is with noise assist switched on. And if I now go in and invert the phase, so this is with noise assist inverted phase for the Bear Dynamic M201TG. That's inverted phase with noise assist switched on. And that's normal phase with noise assist switched on. And I've now switched noise assist off. So this is the normal sound of the microphone without noise assist. End of test.